Ultrotherm is an internal insulation system for solid walls. It allows walls to be insulated without costly alterations to skirting boards, windows, covings and radiators. Although only 12 mm thick, Ultrotherm typically reduces the heat loss through 9-inch solid brick walls by 40%, creating a more comfortable living environment and reducing energy bills. Ultrotherm meets building regulations for use where it is not functionally or technically possible to install thicker insulation systems. Ultrotherm is supplied in convenient flexible tiles that allow it to be installed around awkward shapes and curves. With safety in mind, Ultrotherm has a class 0 fire rating. Once applied, Ultrotherm is simply plastered to create a wall surface ready for decoration. The Ultrotherm system includes 12mm insulation tiles, 8mm reveal tiles for round windows and doors, bonding adhesives and plastic trim beads, including an innovative insulated bead for use around windows and doors. Ultrotherm is installed over existing plaster, keeping mess to a minimum. Radiators should be lifted from their brackets, but the brackets themselves do not need to be removed. Ultrotherm can be installed with or without removing skirting boards. If skirting boards are to be removed, then they should be retained for refitting once Ultrotherm has been installed. Alternatively, you may choose to replace them. Apply Ultrotherm adhesive directly from the container using a 6mm notched trowel. The adhesive should be applied evenly to the wall surface. Once sufficient adhesive has been applied, an Ultrotherm tile is pressed firmly onto the wall. Further adhesive and tiles are applied until the wall is completely insulated. Ultrotherm tiles should be cut around radiator brackets. These can be covered with removable strips of Ultrotherm once the wall has been plastered. Ultrotherm is easily cut and trimmed using decorator's scissors. To install Ultrotherm without removing the skirting board, a 15mm plastic trim bead is bonded to the plaster across the top edge of the skirting using Ultrotherm detail adhesive. The insulation tiles are then located tightly into the trim bead and pressed firmly into the wall adhesive. Installing Ultrotherm without removing decorative coving also uses a 15mm trim bead. The bead is set directly beneath the coving using Ultrotherm detail adhesive. The insulation tiles are again located tightly into the trim bead and pressed firmly into the wall adhesive. Ultrotherm insulation beads are installed with the insulation strip in contact with the window or door frame using Ultrotherm detail adhesive. Ultrotherm reveal tiles should be measured and cut to the required size using decorator's scissors. 
Ultrotherm adhesive is applied to the window or door reveal using a 6mm notched trowel. The reveal tiles are then located tightly into the insulated trim beads and pressed firmly into the wall adhesive. Ultrotherm can be plastered in various ways, including applying skim coat using board finish or multi-finish. It is also possible to build up layers of plaster in a more traditional style. Applying a coat of hard wall plaster before the skim coat increases impact resistance. In all cases, the joints between the ultratherm tiles must be covered with fiber mesh tape. Ultratherm angle beads are used to form external angles. In most cases, Ultratherm is plastered using board finish or multi-finish. The first step is to apply a base coat of plaster that fills in the circular holes behind the mesh covering. The plaster should be mixed to a thicker consistency than normal for this coat. Once the filling coat has started to set, two further coats of plaster skim are applied to the wall. Once the plaster has dried, skirting boards, covings and radiators can be reinstated. Care should be taken not to overcompress ultratherm when screwing skirting boards or other items back to the wall. Before rehanging radiators, ultratherm should be placed over the brackets to prevent cold spots. This also allows the radiator brackets to be easily removed in the future should this be necessary. Walls can be decorated after approximately two weeks or once the plaster has fully dried.